Hey guys, welcome back to the workshop. So this week I want to talk to you about another tool. Uh, last time we talked about using transfer punches and how you can transfer holes to your part. Now today I want to talk to you about what if you don't have a part that you can use to duplicate? What if you have to pull um, points directly off of the project you're working on? Well, there's a special product that you use and they sell them in a set and they're called transfer screws. So let me pull you in and I'll show you what they are. All right, so this is a set of transfer screws. You can get them pretty cheap on Amazon. I'll drop a link in the description if you want to check them out. And basically, they come in multiple size threads. So you have your typical 7 16 5 16 quarter 20, 3 8 16. Um, this set's about, I don't know, 40 bucks. And here's what it comes with. So these are screws that have a hardened tip with a hex that allows you to use this tool, which is just a normal driver bit, and then you can screw it into your project. And then give your project a tap and it will transfer the screw hole locations, the center of them, into your workpiece. So let me take you over to the mill that I'm working on and I'll show you basically how you install these and how they work. So this is an old Rockwell mill that I'm working on. And basically I'm making a um, mounting plate for a power feed and I need to know these bolt hole locations. So what you do is you put this into your tool, screw it in, leave it just a little proud, like that. And then you would take your part, line up your critical, you know, say if your front and top are the critical ones, you would line those up and then you give it a nice whack. And when that whack, when you hit it, it's gonna transfer those two locations into your part, which would be these two locations here. And that would allow you to then correct your plate according to the direct measurements of the castings threaded holes. So that's where this uh, product really is exceptional. There's another way that you can actually use it, and I'll show you that in a second. Another way you can use these is actually to measure the points that come out of the middle. Say you have a part that you can't actually hold to actually transfer these uh, marks, you can use those center points to measure and then take it over to your mill, measure it out with your DRO or however you wanna do your layout. And that's gonna give you a much more accurate uh, estimate than me just trying to freehand center the holes. So I use them like that all the time and I think it's a useful tip. So I hope you guys liked that video. I hope you find it useful. Um, if you guys like these tool tip videos, let me know. Shoot it down in the comments uh, and I'll keep trying to bring some of these kind of oddity tools that you don't use every day that are super handy when you need them. Uh, so I hope you guys like it and I'll catch you on the next one.